Today on Flippin' Science, we're going to be looking at figuring out the charges of monatomic ions. So, for one atom, finding it on the periodic table and figuring out what charge the ion would be. So, the process to do that is, first thing you need to do is find the group that the um, atom belongs to. Then follow these two rules. If the metal charge is, if it's a metal, then it will have a positive charge, and that charge is the group number. If it is a non-metal, then the charge is going to be the group number, minus 8. So these are the simple rules to follow. This only really works for up to 20 in the periodic table. This doesn't really work for transition metals. But it's a good start. So, let's do some examples. Let's figure out what the charge is on a sodium ion. So, I'm going to do sodium. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is look at my periodic table. Here's my periodic table. Now, whenever I get a periodic table, I do a few things to it. I write some numbers on, so I'm going to write the uh, group numbers in. So, one, two, skip a few, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, they're the group numbers that I'm going to use. Notice that I'm ignoring the transition metals in the middle. Alright, so, I'll go back to my example, so I'm going to do sodium. I need to find sodium on the periodic table. Here's sodium, it's a metal, it's in group 1. So, to find the charge, it's fairly simple, it's going to be plus the group number. So the group number is 1, so it's going to be plus 1. So sodium will form a single plus ion. If I look at magnesium, as another example, right, on my periodic table, I find magnesium, I look what group it is in, it's in group 2. So that means it's going to form a plus 2 ion, because it's a metal. Plus 2, 2 plus, they're equivalent. All right? They're fairly simple. So the metals that we're going to deal with, like I said, below 20, they're just going to be in group 1 or 2, so they're either going to have a plus 1 or a plus 2 charge. If I look at the non-metals, so over this side of the periodic table, it gets a little bit more complicated. Right, so if I look at some examples here, uh, let's do fluorine. So to figure out the charge of fluorine when it forms an ion, we need to do the group number minus 8. So I find fluorine on the periodic table, it's in group 7 here, and then I need to take 8 away from that. So 7 take 8 equals minus 1, so the charge on a fluoride ion is going to be minus 1. If I do oxygen, so oxygen will be our next one. Oxygen's in group 6 over here. So to figure it out, if I do 6 minus 8, that gives me minus 2. So the charge on an oxide ion is minus 2. So again, this works pretty well for most of the nonmetals that we're going to be dealing with. If we look at nitrogen as another example, it's in group 5. So 5 take 8, that gives us minus 3. So the nitride ion is a minus 3 ion. Sorry about my 3 there. Alright, this works fairly well for the elements that we're going to be looking up, again up to around about 20. It gets a little bit complicated with some of them, in terms of, um, because of where their electrons are, they can move them around a little bit. But, as a general rule, fairly simply, that's how you figure out the charge on a monotonic ion. That's it for Flipping Science today. See ya!